Roughly, if you look at the air traffic right now, it's about 50,000 aircraft a day. At the peak time, you can't think of having about 5,000 aircraft at the same time up in the air. Based on our studies and coordination with the FAA, we expect an increase between two to three times the amount of air traffic that we have currently in the national airspace system. The major challenges that we look at with this kind of uh, growth is there's going to be an increased capacity in the system and how to manage that increased capacity. There's a safety issue and there are also other environmental issues that we need to deal with. With air traffic forecast to double by the year 2025, researchers at the University of California Santa Cruz are working with colleagues at NASA's Ames Research Center to develop automation tools in support of the Federal Aviation Administration's Next Generation Air Traffic Management System. CTAS stands for Center Tracon Automation System. And what it is, it's a set of uh, tools that provide automation assistance to the air traffic controllers for planning and controlling the air traffic in the national airspace. What it does, it basically provides uh, advisories to the air traffic controllers to manage the aircraft while targeted for increasing fuel efficiency, reducing delays, and providing air traffic controllers the assistance that they need in uh, keeping the proper sequencing and separation, and as well as increasing the airport capacity. Providing automation assistance to air traffic controllers is a key aspect of CTAS and will facilitate growth in the air traffic management system by addressing various bottlenecks and challenges currently constraining system growth. In today's environment, uh, it's a very complex task for controllers to try to develop uh, arrival solutions that uh, manage all the various constraints in the airspace that have to do with maximizing throughput as well, of course, uh, keeping airplanes separated from one another. Uh, and uh, to try to do that in a fuel-efficient manner uh, is, is a very challenging problem. It's a very convergent problem, and it's really a problem that, uh, that is calling out for automation. So the Enroute Descent Advisor, which shorthand uh, is EDA, EDA computes uh, trajectory solutions for controllers that are designed to manage all of the constraints in the airspace uh, that will manage the throughput constraints, maximizing throughput into the, uh, into the terminal environment and onto the runways. It also provides a level of assurance against uh, conflicts developing along the trajectory. But uh, the biggest benefit of EDA is the, uh, the fact that it can reduce fuel and uh, provide em environmentally responsible solutions. Probably the biggest in impact of the controller themselves would be the reduction, the potential reduction in the number of maneuver-related clearance instructions. The idea behind EDA is that we can solve the entire arrival problem essentially in one fell swoop, 20 to 30 minutes uh, upstream of, the, uh, of uh, the aircraft's arrival point. So instead of the controller having to issue uh, a whole bunch of different uh, speed, altitude, and uh, heading type commands, EDA can uh, provide the controllers with a single solution. So we've shown in simulation that we can reduce the number of communications between the pilot and air traffic control uh, by over 70 percent. In addition to providing automation tools to support managing aircraft during flight, CTAS also has tools designed to address the challenges of managing aircraft on the ground. Surface Management System, or SMS for short, is designed to help ground controllers more efficiently taxi aircraft between gates and runways, while also helping local air traffic controllers to more efficiently manage arrival and departure aircraft. For the ground controller, the way we see SMS helping is, suppose you have 10 aircraft that are ready to access the taxiways and get to the queuing area, to the runway which one to let go first. Suppose they are spread out geographically on the airport at many different places. So SMS can help the controller in deciding that if you have five of these aircraft, whom should I clear for taxiing first? Whom next? What route should we give the, ta the aircraft? Because uh, let's say Dallas-Fort Worth or any other airport, they have a kind of a grid structure of taxiways. 
There are multiple taxiways, there are multiple ways of getting from one point to another. What route should you take? So in terms of helping the local controller, SMS can provide them inputs as to how to sequence the departure aircraft and it can provide them inputs as to when to let an arrival aircraft cross the departure runway, how many to let the cross at the same time, when to stop departures to let too many arrival aircraft who have queued up cross them, those kind of decisions. Ensuring that the entire suite of automation tools provided by CTAS is usable to air traffic managers is the responsibility of human factors researchers. Through their research, they address the challenges of human-machine interaction and ensure that CTAS tools are intuitive and easy to use. The human factor that's why it's important is that um, you have to see the whole system, which includes both machine and human. Oftentimes, engineers focus on the performance of the machine side, and they think if machines or algorithms are great, then the system should work great. However, there's another, another side in equations, which is a human. If the machine is unusable or the user interface is ill-designed, then human cannot respond to the machine's computation results, then it's not going to be used, and as a whole, it's not going to work very well. So uh, as a human factors specialist, I work the whole system and make sure that uh, these connections between computer and human work very well. Going forward, CTAS will continue to play a central role in NASA's efforts to support the FAA as they develop the next generation air traffic management system. So CTAS will be continuously used in the future okay, to come up with all these new ideas, new algorithms to automate the system and help assist the controllers in, in uh, controlling this uh, amount of air traffic in the national airspace.